the Boston We are coming up. Welcome to our Man o War boot camp. It's starting today and it's been a great day so far. Why did we decide to do this camp? This year we thought instead of going through the regular camp structure that most schools do at this time, we decided to give it a little twist because our vision here is to lead holistic education and we realized that there was a gap, there was a, there was a missing link. Children don't have opportunities to go outdoors and exercise physically anymore. Yes, academics is good, all the indoor activities are also good, but it's important for them to be outdoors and experience nature and also experience what their physical bodies can do. And that's why we decided to go with the G Camp um, here at Green Spring School. What are they going to expect? Every morning they're going to have drills in the morning so they're out of their rooms at about 6 a.m. in the morning and they, they might do a jog, uh, different types of um, activities on the field. There's going to be a march pass so this evening when they came in they got the camp instructions, the rules for the camps, what's allowed, what's not allowed and um, they already got some consequences so they did a few sit-ups and push-ups when they didn't obey the camp director know that it's not business as usual so that was very exciting and if you look behind me some of the things they have to look forward is um, all these obstacle courses behind me there's the leopard crawl there is the tire swing and there's the tunnel and they have the six foot wall where they have to climb up with and that's for upper body strength obviously and they come over here if you see this pit here this in itself is an incentive not to fall off the rope so all the kids are going to make sure that they um, they hold on tight and then over there we have um, a spider web which looks really easy but it's quite challenging I actually tried that but all in all there's um, so much to do and the tires the, the obstacle courses there's also going to be an endurance trek every morning they're out of their rooms uh, by 5 30 um, they have to get into formation by 6 a.m. impact this will have the the desired impact or what we're looking for is to have children who will leave here with a growth mindset. We believe in children having a growth mindset, understanding that even if they can't do something yet, when they put the effort and the time into it, they'll be able to do it. Lots of children came in today and were looking at everything behind me and they said, Mom, I can't do this. And I'm so excited because I know by the end of the week, they're going to turn around and say, I did that. I was able to do that. And what it's going to teach them is whatever it is that you face in life, what it looks, what looks impossible, looks challenging, with a little bit of time, effort, persistence, you will overcome it. And that in itself is the joy of living, knowing that the, whatever problem is ahead of you, with the right focus and the um, persistence, you'll overcome it and you'll be victorious. So that's part of what they have to look forward to with the expectations of the camp. Teamwork is another big one. We all have to work as a unit. They, they can't leave, no, no man left behind really is the mantra. So everybody has to work together. One person falls out of line, everyone falls out of line. So it's the best interest of everyone in the platoon to make sure every other person in the platoon obeys the camp instructor, because then they all get to work there. There's so many opportunities for leadership training. The older ones are going to help the younger ones, and they get to understand who they are, what makes them tick, and what their challenges are, and what they need to do to overcome them. And apart from that, they also get to be away from home. They get to experience something they've probably never experienced before. We all know, most people who've gone through the NYSE program know the anxiety and the challenge when you get to the campground. So the children are facing this right now and they will overcome. And it's such a great, amazing feeling when they come to the end of the camp and they see what they've accomplished. They take that with them wherever they go, knowing that no matter how difficult things get, they will overcome. Even though we know what we're looking for, the rigor and the activities that are going to go on the camp, there's also a safety procedure. All the campers are coming in and checked in to make sure they're healthy enough to withstand the program. And there's going to be a nurse on ground who will go around with the campers at every point in time. So if anything happens, there's someone around to get urgent 
immediate medical attention. So it's safe. Um, they are also, they're going to have lots of time to, they're going to have some time, free time to rest and uh, do other activities apart from the camp. There's going to be coding, sports, there's a dance instructor, we're going to have some Zumba, they're going to have some um, creative art projects also. All in all, when they wake up till the end of the day, they're going to be occupied and go to bed feeling well rested, knowing they've had a productive day. And then we're going to have a pass out ceremony in, on Saturday where they will be a March pass and they get to show some of the skills they've learned during the week. So on Saturday at 12 noon, parents are invited to come watch the children do a March pass, a parade for them. So that's something to look forward and they'll be preparing for that throughout the week also.